Hey, Mike here, and in this video, uh, what we're going to do is create a subdomain for your main domain name and then point that subdomain to uh, your Shopify store. Okay, so uh, we're doing this through CNAME Records, and um, it sounds uh, intimidating, but here's it's very simple, right? So my main website, my primary domain is zermelomusic.com. Okay, that has a website associated with it and a bunch of other things. Okay, but um, what I want to do is I want to create a Shopify store, but I but my zermelomusic.com is already hosted and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to create a website shop.zermelomusic.com and that's going to be my Shopify store. So I need to add shop to the beginning of my domain uh, to create the domain that I want for my Shopify store. So if you already have a domain and you want to create like a little subdomain, in my case shop, then uh, this is how you do it, okay? So um, if you Google uh, C name Shopify subdomain, you can get to these uh, directions right here. And I just kind of signed up for Shopify. So this is the first time that I'm doing this, but I've done, I've created C names for all the time. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to walk you through exactly how to do it. So uh, again, this is the page. Now, uh, what we need to do is follow these uh, steps right here. So before you begin to complete this, you need to have the following information, your login information for your third party domain provider. So if you bought your domain through host uh, or through, um, oh my God, daddy, what's the name of that? Oh my gosh, GoDaddy, good Lord, or whatever, you know, there's tons of places where you can buy a domain. You got to have your so, uh, subdomain available. So in my case, that's going to be shop but whatever you're using. And then the C name that you're going to use for a uh, record for your subdomain. And so this is what Shopify requires you to, to use. And we'll get into this in a second. So on your domain provider's website, mine is A2. That's where I buy no my domains. I also use, I think, uh, Dream something, Dreamhost or something. <laughs> there's, there's tons of them. Okay. But on your domain provider's website, log into your account and find the DNS setting. So here in, this is my, um, host right a2 hosting and then uh, this is my main domain zermelomusic.com and what we need to do is we need to get to the domain settings for this so i'm going to go to cpanel here um, and this is pretty much where we're all going to overlap because i think most domain providers will use cpanel and so uh, once we get into here this is pretty much going to be the same for you so what we're going to do is we're going to come down we need to come down to the domain area Right. This is I, I feel like um, the back on back end on websites is intimidating, but it's really not right. We're trying to do something with our domain. So we just got to come to the domain section. All right. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the zone editor. OK, so we're going to click on DNS zone editor. And um, here what we need to do is I want to create a subdomain or a CNAME record for zermelomusic.com. That's my primary domain. But again, I want to make a shop.zermelomusic.com and then point that to Shopify. All right. So what we need to do is I'm going to come over here to click on manage and then I'm going to add a record as you can see right here. Okay. So we're going to add a record and we need to put in a valid zone name. This is just your subdomain, right? So I'm going to do shop. Okay. And then we're going to choose a type and that's going to be a C name. And then we have to put in the fully qualified domain name as it says right there. But that's just going to be this right here. Okay. The shop.myshopify.com. Again, this might look a little bit different for you because you're probably not using A2. Uh, you might be using something else. But then we would just click add record and that would basically create a new record. Now, I actually uh, did this already. Um, and uh, it took a little bit longer than expected to um, update. So I had to scrap that first video. So now I'm just redoing it. Uh, but before I just hit add record, uh, but now I'm gonna hit cancel. Make sure you hit add record. And I'm just gonna show you, I'm just going to um, reorder the names here. I'm just gonna show you right here. You can see shop.zermelomusic.com. Okay, it's a C name record and it's pointing to shops.myshopify.com. Okay, just as it says to do right here. We added our little subdomain, which is shop. We created a C name record and then uh, we're pointing it here. And as you can see, it has these steps right here. So on your domain provider's website, A2 for me, find the DNS settings. We already did that and, and do the following in the host or alias, enter the subdomain. And again, that is uh, the shop part. So we did that. And then it says, uh, 
choose the record type. We did that as a C name and then make sure the C name points to there. And so that's exactly what we did. We chose shop, we chose uh, C name, and then we pointed it to shops.myshopify.com. Okay. And so let's come back over here and then you got to save your changes. And step two is now that we've created our uh, C name record, our subdomain, we need to verify that domain with Shopify. Okay, so from your Shopify settings, how do you do that? Verify your subdomain is connected. So from your Shopify uh, admin, go to settings domain. Okay, so let's do that. Just going to click on domains. And um, if I open this tab right now, then it's actually going to have the live site. So I don't want to do that. I want to show you what it looks like if you hadn't had this set up yet. Okay, so how do we verify your subdomain, subdomain is connected to Shopify? Well, let's go to this other page that I uh, added right here. So this is what it would look like had I not yet connected my um, subdomain. See, on this page, you, you can see there's nothing here related to shop.zermellomusic.com. It only has my default uh, Shopify account. Okay, so what we you would need to do is you'd need to come to connect existing domain, okay? Because that's what you want to do. You don't want to buy a new domain. You already have a domain. You don't want to transfer the domain. No reason to do that. You just want to connect an existing domain. So go to connect existing domain, and you need to type in the exact domain. So what we need in basically your subdomain. So. Okay, so shop.zermellomusic.com. That's what I would need to do. Okay, now if I hit, now the last time I shot this video, it took me to an error page, but that's because uh, I, w it di I didn't give it enough time to update properly. Okay, uh, so I had to scrap that video and now I'm in the exact same spot right now, but I uh, this is a little bit later, so I hit next. Now if I come over here, this is, if I hit next now, I'm going to come over to this page right here. Your domains or mellowmusic.com was successfully connected. Your domain is now pointing to your online store. It can take 24 hours to the changes to propagate. Um, and you can see the primary domain. We have the domain name and we have shop.zermellomusic.com. It is connected. The SSL is pending. And the SSL just basically means that when someone goes to shop.zermellomusic.com, there's going to be this little uh, lock icon. Okay, if that lock icon wasn't there, then if we try to go to shop.zermellomusic.com, then it will, a lot of browsers will say, this website is not safe. You know what? Let's try doing that right now. Let's see what happens. Shop.zermellomusic.com. Okay. Okay. And so the SSL has already been created. Okay. So I wonder if I go back and if I refresh right now, it might tell me that the SSL has been successfully updated. Let's try that. Okay, so there we go. So we see now it is fully connected. The SSL is loading and we verified that in the incognito window shop.zermellomusic.com and so we're not getting any kind of weird error message. We can see the lock icon so the SSL certificate is working and the subdomain is now working. All right, and so that is pretty cool. And that's how you do it. All right. So real quick, again, all we needed to do is just go to your domain host and you got to um, edit your domain. So you just got to go to the domain section. Assuming, of course, you have a domain, <laughs> you've got to have a domain. So then you just need to create a record for the specific domain domain that you want to create a subdomain for. So again, we go to manage we got to add a record. This is going to be a C name record. So we got to choose C name. You choose the subdomain name that you want here. You put in um, the Shopify right there, the, the shops.myshopify.com. That way your subdomain, uh, the, val the subdomain is now pointing to uh, your Shopify store. You hit add record. You wait a little while and you just uh, verify that domain on Shopify. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.